Hello there. XCOM Chimera Squad. Hmm. I never did play the original, like, super original XCOM, made by Gallop. Gallop, Gallop. And then the various sequels therein. Or the reboot, XCOM Enemy Within and Enemy Unknown. But I did play some of XCOM 2, and I think I beat it. I think I did. Without the Chosen. And I was like, I'm gonna play it without the Chosen, then I'll play it with the Chosen. By the way, XCOM Chimera Squad just looks fascinating to me. Yeah, it's a budget game with artwork and character portraits instead of the normal stuff. But I like the idea of it being a bit smaller, but exploring the world in Aftermath of XCOM 2. And hopefully I'll be able to run it decently well. Decent enough at the very least. Because if it gets too unwieldy, I'll mess around with the settings and stuff. But I want to do this, because it's fun. I like it. Hmm. But one thing that supremely fucking pissed me off last night when I was making sure that it was both installed correctly and good enough to actually record decently with, Steam decided to be a complete and utter mentally deficient little piece of shit. You want to know what it wanted to do? It wanted to fucking download the game twice. Yeah, because I don't know what happened. It's just like, okay, we downloaded the game. And now we want to spend another hour doing something. It's like, oh, I'm not going to do that. I'll best stop it and restart Steam and see what happens. It's like, okay, so install it again. So then I had to go, oh, shut down Steam, rename the Chimera file in the Steam folder, start Steam up again, start it installing again. It's, like, it's a weird process. Basically, you all you have to do is rename the file to something else that you can then rename it back to its original name and basically trick Steam into thinking that it, you have to trick Steam and it's just so stupid. Yeah, it drove me insane. But anyway, let's see. I, well, I'm going to go for normal because expert, maybe not best for me because... XCOM is kind of bullshit difficulty and a little annoying. Like, maybe if I really, 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 really love this, I'll set XCOM Expert on. And hell, maybe I'll even reinstall uh, XCOM 2 and play that some more. Because XCOM 2 was fun, if a bit bullshit. Iron Man, no. Hardcore. What's hardcore? Failing any mission results in total campaign loss. Nice that that is a option. Extended at City Anarchy. Add five levels to the City Anarchy meter, decreasing the strategic difficulty of the game. A part of me kind of wants to set that on because um, one thing that I didn't... I'm going to set that on. I'm a little bitch, yes. But at the same time, I remember the Avatar Project from XCOM 2. Oh, uh, Did that hurt my soul. Heal between encounters. I'm going to set it to half heal because it has three settings. No heal, half heal, and full heal. And I think half heal is more true to what the original, like XCOM Enemy Within and XCOM 2 were, where if a guy gets injured, they have to heal up between missions. So I think that will be fair. So let's go. See what characters we have, because I think this one, out. Hey, we don't it. have. Is this like the old days? XCOM swooping in and taking it to the bad guys? I wouldn't know. I spent most of the war training resistance networks. Like mine. And for your many long years of service. Watch it. XCOM attaches you to an untested squad and pushes it into the field before it's ready. How is this not like the old days? <laughs> I'm just happy Fair. to be here. I missed out during the war. I wish I could have pulled my weight. For which side, exactly? I find that very hurtful. <laughs> sure thing, Abbott. <laughs> I find that very hurtful. We are through the checkpoint. I was never actually Abbott. But they were fitting you for a blocky helmet. Stow it, both of you. We're here. 3 1 PD gave us the old key. Yeah, because while we don't have, to move in. like, uh, customizable characters or characters of our own, we do have story characters, which is kind of cool. And because I set it to not hardcore, some of these characters can probably die. Whisper. What's your status? And what's Verge's ETA? Comms are working, obviously. Verge is en route. How? 
Birch can't drive. He, uh, <laughs> he hailed a cab. To a hostage situation? Focus. Whisper, any surprises in the next room? A handful of hostiles, unaware of your approach. Chimera squad, take positions. Prep for breach. Hey, XCOM. XCOM symbols. Breach mode. Chimera squad begins every mission by setting up breach points to get the jump on enemies. Preview of the enemy presence at each breach point and modifiers that will be applied. Then assign agents to the available slots to determine the order they'll enter the fight. Alright. Pinpoint. Successful shots will crit. Cool. Alright, Cherub. Alright, so Cherub has a shield and a pistol. Terminal is uh, has the drone. I forget the name. And then Godmother. Encounter one of three. Okay. Well, let's breach. Stay behind me. Surprise, motherfucker! Let's see, weapon range, surprise, pinpoint, cool. Uh, fire. Ooh. <laughs> the body just freezes. Alert. Response level alert. Alert enemies will use an ability at the end of the breach sequence. Can't have that. Kill him. And then a surprise dude, also 100%, but he's in lower cover. But due to pinpoint, surprise, weapon range, aim, yada yada. Uh, breach. Kill this dude. Hello. Kind of annoying that they take I am Mayor Nightingale. places themselves, but eh, Welcome whatever. Welcome to City 31's Memorial Museum. It's just a recording. As I often say, the lessons from our past inform the present. Blah, 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 history. Focus. Turns and moving. Magents and enemies take their turn one at a time. Their current place in their turn order can be seen on the unit flag above their head and next to their portrait in the timeline, which both update after each turn. Agents have two action points each turn to use for movement, shooting, or abilities. Look for a blue shield to move and to cover for defensive bonuses before shooting or move out to flank the enemy for a better chance to hit. Alright, so Cherub moves first. Do we still have... Yep, target preview is still here. Kind of annoying that... So I do shows a dude, I can... So I can see a dude here. Don't know where. All right, let's head here. I wanna shoot some people. So let's take a look. That guy is only 81% or 65% due to low cover. I want to kill this dude. Mainly because if I kill this dude, that dude will do his turn. And then I can finish him off with somebody else. Because all my dudes... Oh, wait. Godmother does not go before him. So, yeah. If I kill that dude, Godmother can get the drop on Mr. Number 2. So, take out the dude. Brutal. Doesn't mean he'll shoot my... Ha <laughs> He missed. Dumbass. Hmm, all 53% from back here as well. Considering that, uh, just everything, let's see. I'll move into this cover and take a shot. Depending on the percentage. 61%. Go for it! Only grazed. But, that's why Godmother is here. Close range shotgun to finish the man off. Hello, little friend. You're gonna die. You see this? Huh. Interesting. Contact! 
Who are you? Clear. What's your name? Clear. Birch? But I really like this idea. What took you so long? This is the guy that can't drive. Good man. Not exactly. You know what I mean. I always do. So creepy. Don't ever change. <laughs> Verge, form up. Any hostiles in the next room? Yes. I can feel them. I can feel them. Ah, oh, they reload automatically. Cool. Breach mode. Agent damage likely. Enemies deal plus one damage during diddly do. Or seal the deal. Last unit through this does three plus damage. Ooh. Oh, multiple points in turn order. Some encounters offer more than one breach point, with different risks and benefits. Consider whether sp to split the squad or send them all through the same location. Agents entering from the same breach will enter the same encounter together and be closer in the timeline. The order of the breached points will enter is shown next to their name and can be changed using the arrows. I think I want Godmother because shotgun. And so you have the most health. Cherub and Verge sealed the deal up there. Let's go. Reaching. Reaching in. Okay, I want to see. Aggressive. Enemies will shoot X come if they aren't neutralized. Get him! What about that dude? Alert. He can do a thing at the end, but 33%. Not good. Let's neutralize that dude. Go for the shot, my friend. And we'll leave that. I could go for that guy because surprised, I think, means that they can't do anything, so I might as well go for this. And besides, this is good uh, testing. Kill him. Agent Abilities. Each agent has a unique ability they can use every turn, eventually gaining more abilities from their class and equipment. Most agents also have the Subdue Ability, a non-lethal attack that is low damage but guarantees to hit. Use it to earn additional rewards and certain mission objectives. Cherub uses the Charge Bash Ability instead of Subdue. Oh, scatter shot! Is that in short uh, range cone? Damage multiple targets, cost two ammo. Subdue melee target, and the target uh, would be killed. They would be rendered unconscious instead. Units are captured at the end of the mission. Two to three damage. Let's see. He's two in the turn order, and he's five in the turn order. So if I really want, I can potentially subdue that guy because I have two Habba Cherubs so far away. Damn. And that would leave Godmother kind of exposed. Head there. Check him out. Two to three. Let's go, baby! Damn it. Shouldn't have bothered. Uh, so, wait, I can charge bash allies? Oh no, that's kinetic shield. Prevent all damage from the next attack. Okay, kinetic shield. And then head down there. Because I want a kinetic... Uh, not kinetic shield, but a shield bash this fool. Ah, he's flanking Godmother.
Dispatch this dude. I want him. Oh, he actually had a uh, sectoid. Is under arrest. He had the sectoid jump animation. Set up the breaching charge. I do like to make Advent. Advent uh, propaganda, I guess, for historical purpose. Some breach points can only be accessed with special equipment or abilities. Once an agent with the required asset is in the first slot, the other agents can then be assigned. All non-aggressive enemies guarding this entrance are surprised. All right, then. Wait, breach. Hold. Hostage confirmed in the next room. We need more than that. Free one PD has a live feed. Patching through. If you surrender, a live feed. I will advocate leniency. Enough. This exhibit. It is about XCOM's role in our liberation. I see you read the placard. It doesn't hmm. say how they went soft and got weak. Now it's up to ah, us. So there's xenophobes. The spark. He's holding a detonator. Go now. How's this for an entrance? Should probably go for these guys because the surprise. Yeah. Go for it. Go for it. And now I'll get the guaranteed out. They're a nightingale. I'll protect you. Sheriff is down. What the fuck? Terminal, stabilize him. On it. Verge, with me. Protect the mayor. Confirm. That's rude. Ah, uh, nice tutorial. Yeah, your guy's gonna die. Agents that lose all their HP will begin bleeding out out of several terms indicated by the number in the timer. The mission will fail unless the agent bleeding out is saved with the stabilize ability or the encounter is completed before the timer expires. Stabilize the dude. Beat the crap out of this dude. Hostile subdued. Hmm. How much health does this guy have? Let's see. Well, I guess I can count. One, two, three, four, five, six. With a shield pip, from the looks of it. Fire that weapon. I'm gonna beat this guy down. He's mine. Oh, hey, I knew I got it because the achievement tells me. Hey, bitch. Subdued the hostile. Cherub, are you still with us? Yeah, uh, think so. Only thing injured is my pride. And, and you had a friend. shield. And a few ribs. None of this should have happened. Most people say thank you. I'm, I'm <laughs> grateful, of course. But these people don't have the capability for any of this. Explain. I read their threat assessment. A month ago, these insurgents were all talk and no capability. The greatest threat they posed was to bottles of alcohol. Why tell us? Why now? City 31 shows the world how humans, hybrids, and aliens can keep a lasting hybrids. peace. I'm the public hybrids. face of this. I guess they're talking Tonight, about the skirmishers. Someone wanted what I represent to go up in flames. We're not in town for local intrigue. I know. But right now, you're the only ones I'm certain are fighting for that same peace. Can I count on your support? Yes, ma'am. 
Crisis at the museum. Whisper here. Head back to the base. We're gonna need to debrief. Rating good! From three captured enemies, there's a 60% chance to earn 20 intel. Alright, rounds to complete. Number encounters. Enemies killed, enemies captured, civilians rescued, and civilian casualties. Oh boy. Ah, kind of nice art there. Continue. Package delivered to 31 PD. She truly believes what she says. That's why she's in charge. Not too shabby for our first official mission. Don't do that. Don't do what? Celebrate before a mission is complete. It's... Explode. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. Knew it. It's bad luck. So she's already dead. So you're gonna set up a character and then kill her. Yay! And that's why she should have gone with you. You're the only ones I know is fighting for that same piece. Goes with people she doesn't know is fighting for that same piece because they weren't. Thank you very much for watching. And if in you would leave a like, that would be just a little bit dandy. If you'd like more from me, click subscribe to be up to date with these videos and maybe hit up my main channel for reviews and rambles about media that catches my fancy. And maybe even my Twitter and Twitch for art and occasional streams if I ever get back into that again. And once again, thank you muchly. And I will see you next time. Gotta fly. <laughs>